Ian Higton. Ian's VR corner. Putting your head in a helmet. Come watch my game play. I promise it won't be too shit. Hello everyone, welcome to Ian's VR Corner and today I'm checking out the big new release for this week on PlayStation VR, Astro Bot Rescue? Is that what it's called? I fucking forgot. We. Oh, Jesus Christ, you're a big lad. Hello. Hey, there's fucking loads of them. Either that, maybe he's got nits. Maybe he's got nits. Oh my god. Like a snot come to life. What a wanker. Shit, son. Well, I think we can see what's going to go on here. He's lost his friends. Oh, no. Oh, no. Looks like me after a night out at the Eurogamer karaoke. This is quite cool. So you play with the controller. And, of course, the game mirrors the movement of your controller. And I got a little, little Asobi robot, or whatever they're called. And he looks very sad. Oh, what am I supposed to do, little man? Go over there. How do I do that? Show me the way, little man. Show me the way. He's, he's not showing me the... He's, he's not showing me the... Oh, fuck. Whoops. Can I... Uh, see you later, sucker. Oh, wait. Do I just... Oh, I just point my control. I thought maybe I had to hit him all the way over there. This is... He just keeps coming back for more. He likes it. He's one of them. A little bit of a spanking. Right, world one then, I guess it is. Enter! Alright, so I have heard great things about this game. Chris Donlan reviewed this for our website, Eurogamer.net, and he was, uh, he was utterly charmed by it, and uh, I think I'm going to be too. It's basically a bloody lovely platform game in VR. Now, this is the sort of thing that you think to yourself, holy shit, if Nintendo got their hands on this tech, imagine the sort of shit they can do. But Japan Studio, they're pretty good developers in their own right, so I feel like we should see some pretty cool uses of VR here. Hello. What, what, why is he showing me his ass? I mean... You're not even going to buy me a drink first, mate. What do you want me to do? Uh. I've got to kick him. Oh. oh, there we go. Actually kick him up the ass, and then he flies into my controller. Bye, little friend. Oh, this is this is lovely. Graphics-wise, that's pretty nice. Uh, at the moment, the level is quite basic, but the textures and stuff are nice and um, sharp, clear. No blurry textures or anything. Uh, the game moves nice and smoothly. No kind of frame rate issues or juddering that I can see at the moment. And controlling is nice and simple with the controller. Let's kick him up the ass. Here you come. Get into my controller, dickhead. Yeah. Bye. Basically, most of the action for the player is stationary. You can lean in, look around, and all that jazz. There is a little bit of movement disconnect um, when the camera kind of floats you along to the next part of the game, but, oh, piss. But it's not that extreme, I don't think. Not enough to really give anybody but, like, ultra noobs a little bit of nausea, maybe. Traffic lights up there. We've got another little lad up here. 
What the fuck is that, man? Oh, that's pretty cool. So again, with VR, you have this amazing sense of scale that I always go on about that people who don't play VR have no idea about. Um, I presume there's going to be many more little like visual surprises like that along the way. It, very, it does very much, so far from this first level at least, have some kind of like, almost, you know that Nintendo magic you get where little surprises pop up all the time. What am I doing now? Oh, I'm using... Okay, so I'm using the touchpad to try and... I think I was supposed to catapult that little guy through the rings, but instead I just kind of flicked him off into orbit. Probably died in the atmosphere. It's dark. How did I do? Got 183 coins. And I've unlocked... You got a space chameleon. Find them to unlock challenge stages. Oh, okay. All right, vertigo. Level two. Okay, where are we now? Ooh, a building site. Nice. Where's my guy? There you are. Boink. All right. Let's see how he does. What if I jump on these? Are they going to do anything? You just kind of parked there. No, they're not going to do anything. Um... I'm playing sat down at the moment, which means, where the fuck is my robot? There he is. Which means I have to like, I have to do quite a sharp turn of the head to like look right behind. Don't fall off. Got you. I love how that little robot was scared of being on the edge. So then I just hoofed him up the ass and he flew off. That's cool. That's cool. So you really do have, to, uh, oh. Shit me! I'm a... I look like Rob the Robot from the NES. That's cool. So I'm not a human being. I am some kind of robot helper. Uh, yeah, that's quite cool that I had to actually physically lean forwards to see around the stage there. It's been a little while since I've done an Ian's VR Corner. Sorry for the delays uh, doing this, by the way. There's EGX. And then I went on the uh, went on holiday. What's this? I've got a head by it. See you, Jimmy. Nice. So you even uh, it even brings your physical movements into the game slightly. So that's cool. Oh, look, there's loads of loads of things I need to toss my balls at. Okay, so it kind of auto aims the balls. So there's nothing really to worry about in terms of missing your toss. <laughs> ah, there we go. So it's built up the level around me a bit. I made it possible to reach that top section. Yeah, melt your brains out. Yeah. yeah. Let's first up, let's... Hey! He gobbed in my face. It's well rude. He does kind of rigidly stick to these platforms, which is nice. Let's see right up his... This is the way to go, it looks like. Pass the moo sign. Grab them. Am I supposed to... There we go. Nutted that. I mean, if you're looking for an intro to VR, this is this is a pretty good one. Up there, um, I'd say, with moss for, like, creativity and comfort factor. I think I'd say Moss is a bit more comfortable to play. Just because this one does take your movement away from you a little bit at times. Right, okay. Got to get through the, the rings. Oh, I flicked that young man right through my ring. Yoink! And he was happy about it too. Lovely stuff. Should I try a challenge belt? How do I... Let's try one of the challenge belts. Number one, easy bumping. That's right. Oh, look, there's me. Hello. Oh, have I lost weight? Oh, I'm looking, I'm looking very svelte, I tell thee. What are we doing? Hello. Oh, so, okay, so I guess I've got to get through this level in one minute for a gold, three minutes for a silver. Oi, you, oi. I'm going to eat you. Yum. Uh. 
spat his bones out. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Okay, one minute. I've got to do this in. I believe in myself. Some someone's got to believe in me. What's this one? Ah, oh. Okay. Whee! Come on. So close now. Don't you fucking... Yes. Yes! Suck it, trampoline dick. Did it. What was my time? Yes. Yeah! Screw you. That's it. No one messes with my disco dancing robo chum. Play again. I don't think so. All right. Funky Fungi. Let's do this. What? What? We going this way, are we? <gasps> nice. What's it say? Hold down square. Oh. Oh, I've got a new little move here. Okay, hold down square and a little spin attack. That's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's a definite bullet bill ripoff. Okay, grab a few coins. Oh, you shit. That bullet bill ripoff took me right by surprise. What have we got here now? X. Ah, okay. Laser the... Laser the electrified ones. Makes sense. This is cool, this level, in the, uh, in a, like, a glowing cave. I'd say I'm a big fan of the whole aesthetics of this game. It's really pretty. The music's very cheerful. It's just the sort of game... It's like a Nintendo game. Makes you happy to play. Games should always make you feel happy. Well, except for maybe horror games. Be a bit weird if you felt happy playing Outlast, to be fair. Oh, what? Is that a, the skeleton of a... I thought these little things were robots, but they seem to have some kind of organic interior that's able to rot away and turn into a skeleton. That's pretty dark. So I'm excited to see how later levels of this fare... Oh, bums. I presume there's going to be loads of different, like, secrets and intricate pathways to follow on later levels. As with most uh, Ian's VR Corners, this is the, literally my first impressions of the game and my first time playing it. Which has been, uh, it's been a little bit hard. I've had this game sitting in my, um, in my library for about a week now. But I've wanted to save the experience for Ian's VR corner, so I've had to be very patient and do other work. Finally, I'm able to play on it. And it was worth the wait. You green bastard. Okay, this is like what amounts to an end of level boss, I guess, in this game. Just got to laser them off, laser their helmets off. No one ever lasers my helmet off. Oh, okay. Hang on. And there we go. There's the, uh, there's the finish line. Nicely done. There we go. Right. And point. Ah, oh, right through. Every single ring penetrated. No wonder he's dancing. Yeah. Get in my controller. Hey, I see ya. Dickhead. I like the way that there is, doesn't seem to be too much repetition in the landscapes. You know, it's all, um, so far each level has been quite unique. A jaunty little tune for each one too. See you later, big bird. What's this here? Oh, no, he's tightrope walking. Nice. Wee! Oh, look at those cows. Hello. 
that he's uh Cactus. Whacktus more like. Hi -oh! He enjoyed it. He enjoyed that joke. <laughs> he's pretending to be a cactus. Stop being a cactus. Get him up. Get him my slave controller. Building up a little robot army here to take over the world. You think this is a cute game, but really this is just me enslaving a whole robot population for my own nefarious needs. I gotta headbutt the shit out of this, I reckon. Flash! Oh no, another dead one. Rest in peace, brother. I shall tell your family I found your corpse. Right, what's this? Punched a chest in the face. Oh, right, that's cool. Again, it's throwing out lots of other little surprises at me, which is cool. I like it. Use this to winch that out and then pull that back. Oh, that's good. So a lot more physicality with the controllers as well. It's not just using the thumbstick and the square and the X buttons to jump, but we're getting more and more ingenious little ways to use motion controls as well. Ah, oh, see, now instead of pulling out the um, that wall, I created myself a little um, tightrope, and I can also move the controller up and down to spring him nice and high and to pick up the, the little, little coins. This is so cool. So imaginative and in and inventive, and it's almost like virtual reality can give you a whole new perspective on how video games could play and behave, and you know, how they could give you completely brand new experiences away from the, the norm that everyone's grown so accustomed and slightly bored of. It's almost like it opens up a new frontier of gaming. Why can't everyone see that? One day they will. One day they will, VR chums. One day they will know, just like us, that VR is the way forward and that the best games are in virtual reality. Okay, so I've got to grab hold of this, dudes. Oh, okay, so I can, I can use the... Ah! Stop spooging on me. There we go. Now what? Okay, cool, I popped it. And then I can flick him up with the... There you go, to get the coins. Oh, this is wonderful. I almost feel bad for being so sweary on this video because it's such a lovely game, but fuck it. It's what I do. <laughs> oh, this is so wonderful. Just look at it. I'm only going to see what this looks like on a flat screen once I'm editing this video. Yeah, he was hiding in the skull, but I can guarantee you it's not going to look anywhere near as magical as it does for me right now. It's another one of those big balloon douches. Stop bunking in the eyes. How many times have I told you? Not the hair or the eyes. There we go. Got him. And uh, a giant freak show flower waves hello to me as I once more complete a level. This looks like the boss level. The tooth fairy. What? Oh, I have got enough. To, oh, okay. So I've got enough to unlock the boss. Is the Tooth Fairy. So let's check out the boss for the final part of this uh, Ian's VR corner. Oh my god, it's New Donk City. We heart, well, we strawberry fruit. We strawberry fruit. The music seems like it means business. Let's punch this box. Stick my controller in it. And what gift do I get? It's the hookshot again. Oh, so you, do, you don't get to keep the hookshot. I guess. Maybe you only get it for specific levels. Okay. Right, helipad. We've got helicopters. I've got two lives. And here comes that giant monkey that we saw a little glimpse of earlier on. Oh, what the, what the hell am I supposed to be doing here? I'm gonna guess I have to hit him three times on a weak spot. Oh, okay, jump over them. Okay, punch his teeth off. All right, well, I was completely wrong then, but... Oh, hookshot, ah. Got it. 
All right, okay, so I'm doing some dent doing some dental work on this robot. Pretty big. That's it. I think I've, I think I've got this guy down. Man, that's quite a horrible thing to do. Slowly but surely smash someone's teeth out of their brains. No wonder he's pissed off. Jump the fire. Hey! There we go. Quick bit of dentistry. You won't be munching it. Ow! Oh no, I'm covered in monkey spooch. Okay. Got little lasery ones. Jump. Jump. This is where he goes crazy. Last tooth. There you go. You're going to be eating mushed up bananas for life. Dickhead. Good work, son. You're my good little robot son. And uh, I'll treat you to a little ice cream or something afterwards. Well done, boy. There we go. Found a bit of the robot. The robot spaceship. We're on our way home. It's going to be a long road. But we'll get there, little robo friend. Whee. That's World 2. But I'm not going to go into World 2. I'm going to let you explore World 2 for yourself because this episode of Ian's VR Corner has reached its finale. Uh, I really like this. It's uh, a beautiful, creative, Mario-like platformer that really shows off what can be done with uh, a bit of time and a bit of budget and a little bit of creativity on the PlayStation VR. It's a perfect introduction to VR for younger players. Uh, adults who enjoy platforming games will also have loads of fun with this one because it is just so charming. Uh, and, and I definitely would say if you have a PlayStation VR, this one should be a must buy. It's, uh, it's just a great use, great use of the tech. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a like, do subscribe, do check out some of the other episodes of Ian's VR Corner that are on screen right now. I'm just as much of a dickhead in all of them as I am in this one. Have a lovely day and I'll see you in the virtual reality. Won't we little space friend? Oh, I, I think I knocked his tooth out. I'm sorry. Oh no, he's waving bye. Bye. Dickhead. <laughs>